Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos, and we are continuing our HTML5 Android project. In the last video, I talked about the um, Android uh, manifest XML file, which includes a lot of very important code uh, for that it controls our, our whole project. So we can either edit code, or if that's a little scary, we can go to these various screens, such as manifest, application, etc. Let's explore what else we can do. Under manifest, we can write here uh, a version number for our application and a version code. These are always whole numbers, and so far I'm leaving this on version code 1 because well, this is our main, our main code. Uh, however, we could say that this is still an early version of our application under version name, and we can do 0 0.0.1. And then as we keep improving the code, we can increase the number version code 2. And then perhaps we make this uh, version name 0 0.1.0. It's up to you how you want to use this, and it's not, um, it's not actually required. So that's what I've got so far. Um, what I also want to change in the manifest is, let's say I don't want my app to rotate. Uh, if you test this on a real device and you rotate your device, it'll rotate your app. Let's say I don't want that. I want it to always be vertical. So switch over to your application. Let's see, where do they have it at? Switch over to your application. Scroll down, you'll see application nodes. Click on the only node listed there, example. And then you'll get a brand new section, attributes for example activity. Scroll down. Let's see, keep going, keep going. You'll see screen orientation. Specify the orientation an activity should be run in. You've got various options, but I'm going to select portrait. Now my application will only stay in portrait mode. And there's a lot of other things that we can do with our application. But the big things to check are your version of your code and also if you want to be portrait mode or not. I'm going to save that. And I think I'm getting pretty much ready to publish my app as a real app, not just as a testing, as a testing application. So come back on our next video and I'll talk about publishing your app for real.